What's going on guys? It's K-Dub here with another episode of Crypto Zombie. Today's episode is going to be more of an educational, instructional video. A lot of people have been asking me, how do you use IDEX? How do you trade on IDEX? So yeah, it could be kind of scary trading on decentralized exchanges for the first time. So for today's episode, we're going to be using the Ledger Nano S. And the reason that I'm choosing to do this is because this is what I personally use and I consider it to be one of the safest ways you can hold your cryptos today. So that being said, let's get straight into the video. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is manually type in idex.market. The reason that I say to manually type this in is because if you don't, there's always that chance of you potentially clicking on a phishing link, for example, and you really don't want to do that. So definitely always enter idex.market manually or simply add it to your bookmark. So if we actually go over to IDEX exchange, this is what it looks like right here. You can see that this is where the trading happens and here are the tokens that are trading. Now you should note that IDEX only currently supports ERC20 tokens. So if you're a little confused about whether or not your token is an ERC token, you can easily figure that out by either going to etherscan.io and looking your token up or you can also check it on CoinMarketCap and see if it has a Ethereum comparative. But that is for another day. So you're here to buy or sell an ERC20 token. So for example, if we were going to sell Matrix AI, we would simply click on Matrix AI. The Matrix AI chart would show up. And if we scroll down, we will see that here is the order book. You have the asks and the bids, and here is where you would enter either to buy or sell. So this is very, very, very similar to what most of us are used to. Now, what you're going to want to do for a first-time user is come over here to the top right-hand corner where you actually have to sign in. You see the little icon. Now, I'm already signed in right here using one of my wallets. That's one of my ledger addresses. Now you have the option to create a new wallet. I don't suggest doing this for the simple fact that you have to create a JSON file, which, I mean, it's all right, but for some people this may be a little complicated. Today we're working with the ledger specifically. So what you're gonna wanna do is actually go to change wallet. So you go to change wallet, and then you can select down here ledger. So you select ledger wallet, unlock, and then down here, you will see your different choices for your ledger. I've obviously blocked them out for privacy. As you know, ledgers have virtually infinite addresses. But for this video, we're going to be using this one that I've set up purposefully just for demonstration purposes. So you pick the wallet that you want and you unlock it. So now that the wallet is unlocked, you can actually go back and up here it says balances. Scroll down to full balances and click on that. Now, as you can see right here, it says that my wallet balance has 0.25 ether. My IDEX balance has nothing. Now, when you want to trade on IDEX, what you have to do first is you have to deposit your ether or your ERC20 tokens or whatever token it is that you have into the IDEX wallet so that it can essentially go into a smart contract using the IDEX platform and that's how you're going to execute your trades essentially. So basically what you're going to want to do, very simple, is you go over to deposit and I'm going to send my entire balance which uh, is actually just shy of 0.25, it's 0.24125 which I think is by today's standards about $85 maybe or something like that. So we click deposit. Are you sure you want to deposit 0.24125 ETH? You click confirm. And now you will be prompted to confirm your transaction on your ledger, which all you have to do is either click the X for no or the check for yes. After you click confirm on your ledger you will see the deposit has been submitted please be patient do not initiate more deposits while the deposit process is ongoing you can view the status on the balances pages on the history page here so you just click okay and now you just have to wait for your balance to transfer which they usually give you a little pop-up that says your balance has been successfully deposited 
However, maybe sometimes it doesn't pop up. You can just do a simple refresh to see if your balance has shown up, which as of right now, it has not. So we are simply going to take a break and come back as soon as the deposit shows up. One important thing to note is as I just refresh the page, you'll notice that it's showing that I have no balance. However, it is showing that my wallet balance no longer has that 0.24 that I transferred. So it's showing the remainder of the balance. So this lets you know that it's out there. Oh, there you go. Just showed up live, guys. Just showed up live right there. There it is. So 0.24125 I have in my IDEX balance. So now I am ready to trade. So let's go back to the markets. I usually just click here back to IDEX in the corner, top left corner. So here we go, guys. Back here, right? So today, just for demonstration purposes, since it's a project I've been looking at and it just came out and it's also had a massive, massive dump, is D-Chain. I don't know why the X is silent, but it is. So here we go, guys. If I wanted to buy some DX token, I would simply click on it right here and then the chart would load. Um, the chart should load. <laughs> Let's give it a quick refresh real quick. All right, there we go. So once again, we'll search for DX chain. There it is trading right there. So I want to buy some. Well, how much Ethereum? I have 0.24. So you can see what these people are selling. So obviously the most I could buy, um, most I could buy is, uh, yeah, 0.24. So these guys accumulatively are selling almost four together. So here's the price right here. So just like any other trading platform, you know, you would obviously copy, enter the price. I will do my max amount. So, you know, you could basically just copy and paste it right here if you want. That way you don't have to enter it manually, 0.214. So there we go. There is my amount. I will be getting 108,000 DX tokens. So I click buy. Once again, you will sign the message on the ledger. So now that that's done, you will get a message that says you have successfully bought whatever token that you bought at the price that you bought it at. And then you click OK. And that's it. So now if we scroll back up and we go to our balances, full balances, you can see right here, this represents my actual wallet itself. So I have the D chain. Obviously, they took their little percentage cut, uh, USD uh, value of $77, with a remainder uh, balance in Ethereum of $1.50. Okay? Now, it doesn't matter to me if I sell for a loss right now. I'm only doing this for instructional purposes so you guys can see how to use this. So, long story short, if I wanted to, oh, look at that. My D chain went up in value, guys while we're sitting here talking. So anyway, if I wanted to essentially move this money into my wallet, all I would have to do is click deposit and then you would send the entire balance, right? And then this would simply go into your wallet, right? However, I'm going to show you how to sell back out of DX into Ethereum and then put that Ethereum back into my wallet. So like I said, once again, if you wanted to put this DX coin into your Ether wallet, in other words, get it off of IDEX exchange, all you have to do is go to deposit and then send that money back in. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to trade this DX chain back for a profit, I must say, <laughs> and then move that Ethereum back into our wallet. So if we go back over here, all right, and we go back to DX right here. Well, now I'm officially the seller, so I am going to sell my D chain. So there we go. Uh, let me sell it for my total. There you go, which is 2.21. So yeah, I mean, this is what happens, guys. The fees are pretty high. I would never suggest selling it immediately, but what are you gonna do? So here we go. Sell total, right? Sell the total amount. Same thing, guys. Sign the message. Sold. Now, if we go back to balances, 
you'll see I no longer have any D chain. And now I have an IDEX balance of Ether. So, yeah, I mean, this was obviously I sold for a loss, but I just did this for demonstration purposes, guys, obviously. Um, so basically, if you'd want to get your Ethereum back into your wallet, you would just do a reverse of what we did initially. So basically, you just go over to withdraw, withdraw the entire balance, withdraw, confirm, once again, sign the message. And that's it, guys. And as soon as the contract is done, it says your ETH has been initiated. You can watch the status on the balance pages. So as you can see here, nothing on my IDEX balance whatsoever. And we're currently waiting for this balance to be updated, which shouldn't take too long on the Ethereum blockchain, maybe a few, few seconds or something like that. Let's see. I mean, it depends, guys. Sometimes the network gets slowed. You know, sometimes it could take up to a few minutes. But for the most part, that's pretty much it, guys. So that's how you use IDEX. So I just showed you how to transfer your Ethereum from your wallet to the IDEX balance. Then I showed you how to buy the tokens on the exchange. So you just go to whatever token you want. Just a quick recap. Go to buy, just like you would on any exchange. And then go check your balances. And there we go, guys. I have 0.22 Ethereum. So unfortunately, guys, we sold for a loss today. Oh no, we, we lost 0.02 Ethereum. But honestly, it was mostly due to transaction fees because, yeah, that happened. So obviously, if anybody's trading that fast, you guys are crazy. Normally, you would buy and obviously hold. But in a nutshell, guys, that's how you use IDEX. So obviously, guys, there's many different ways that you can use IDEX. You can create your own wallet. You can use other forms. But I personally prefer to use the ledger because, once again, I personally use it myself, and I consider it to be one of the safest methods of keeping your cryptocurrency safe. That being said, guys, I want to say thank you so much to everybody that's been liking, subscribing, commenting, coming back to the channel. If you guys found this helpful, definitely give it a thumbs up. Share the video. Feel free to, guys. Obviously, this is a community effort here. So just wanted to say thanks again. My name's K-Dub. This is Crypto Zombie. Until next time, stay crypto and peace out.